you know, I can't help but wonder who is accountable when something goes wrong. Is it the algorithm? Is it the company that developed that algorithm? Is it the officer who took the final call? Is it is it the um, the intelligence based on which uh, the algorithm reached a, or offered up a, a particular, um, let's say, a firing solution or the options? Who is accountable when things go wrong? That's another tough question with years of cognitive science research that we need to tap into to figure this out. I mean, the, the problem is this. We don't really know. As you take a look at the, and I'm being completely honest, um, when, I appreciate you take that. Look, yeah. Yeah, when we take a look at the research here, right, there are people that argue that there is a so-called accountability gap. So my colleague at the University of Melbourne, a guy by the name of Robert Sparrow, who's very prolific in this space from a sort of moral ethical perspective, I was just talking the other day at a conference virtually, uh, that is, we'll talk about an accountability gap. In other words, the system is used autonomously. Who's accountable when there are, God forbid, civilian casualties or collateral damage? That's an outstanding question. And it's too easy potentially, or so the theory goes, for officers who are ostensibly in charge of these capabilities to outsource responsibility because it's in a fully autonomous mode. This, this is what the line of argument is. On the other hand, there are those that say, well, no, we could have distributed responsibility, which take in, takes in consideration everything, Rhoda, that you have talked about, from the software producers to the hardware producers to the industry leaders who are peddling us around um, whatever avenue in Washington and the Pentagon, to the soldiers that are using it, to the officers that are using it. The, the devil's in the detail, of course, but the the notion is you could build policies and regulations within the military, especially that would pin the rows for responsibility in the event of unintended consequences like civilian casualties. I'm not sure if that's the case because what we're seeing unfolding right now is a significant yeah. lag in terms of development based upon the hype and yeah. hyperbolic rhetoric surrounding these capabilities, right? Yeah. And then the regulatory oversight, not just domestically, but globally. I mean, yeah. the Convention on Certain Weapons at the UN has been around for almost two decades, if not longer, and we still don't have a codified definition of what fully autonomous weapon system is, not least to mention policies which should govern their use. This is a wicked yeah. problem. 